What's going on everyone? This is Chance and today I have a new video for you guys. I'm gonna be talking about something I need to get off my chest and explain for everyone that is interested in knowing the situation. If you haven't seen on Twitter in the recent days, myself and Zager two days ago decided to part ways with high society. So I figured in this commentary, you know, I'll get a video out explaining our decision decision, explain the situation as a team and you know what our plan is going into Anaheim. What our, our thoughts were behind the decision. So I want to date back. We'll go back about a week ago. Um, Nifty. I think I talked about this in my last video about the hate that we've been receiving. I think I talked about our schedule. Um, Nifty graduated college, and he was in Florida attending college and playing down there in the dorm room. So he graduated college a week ago, came home, and he moved back into his parents' house in New Jersey. And he told us when he moved back in that he was going to be working full-time every day of the week. Ugh, excuse me. Had a burp there. That's all that G fuel. But, um, but yeah, so he, he, was, he had to work full-time. He's working for his parents in their business. And he was going to be working every day except for Sunday from 7 to 9, 10 o'clock at night. So right away I knew it was going to be a problem. You know, I was I was saying like, dude, you're going to screw us up as a team. We're not going to be as good. But, you know, I was always joking around with him. But, uh, you know, I knew it wasn't going to affect Nifty because he's a great player. And he didn't, you know, that little amount of practice, he was still going to get the job done because that's just what kind of a player he was. So, but I... I knew it was going to affect other people and it was going to affect the team's uh, mental state, you know, because of lack of practice. So, you know, that week started off, we barely play and we were losing a lot. We were in a slump and we weren't getting on until, you know, 9, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at the latest and only playing two series and then having to get off because Nihil's still in high school and he has to get some sleep because he has to get up at, you know, 6.30 in the morning or whatever he gets up, but... But, you know, things were on a downfall with high society, and it was really starting to concern us, and, you know, we needed to make a change. And one of the main re main things that me and Zager, you know, wanted to do was, you know, stay a team of three, me, Nifty, Zager, and we wanted to find the right fourth. And we've been trying to do that ever since, you know, after Dallas, because Explicit couldn't make it to Anaheim. We've been trying to r find the right fit that really, you know, made us a solid squad and Nihil was for a little bit but he's he was in a slump and the main thing that set us off against Nihil was especially myself you know the day before we left them Nihil you know made an excuse about you know not being able to play his role correctly that we've been that we put him in because he never played that role. We've been a, a team, we were a team with Nihil for almost two months, and he tells us 15, you know, two weeks before the event that he isn't comfortable with the role that we're putting him in. So that kind of, you know, got me a little frustrated, and it kind of put me over the edge that he just came out telling us that. But who knows if it's true or not. It's all done with now. So... So two days ago, yeah, like our plan was to get on and run with Domo because Domo was a free agent and we were planning on running with him. You know, me, Nifty, Zager, and Domo, that was going to be who we were going to run with. And we were originally just going to drop Nihil because, you know, after his whole episode on Twitter, we said a few things jokingly in the group chat and I said I was like going free agent as a joke and a few things were said and Nihil took it seriously and posted for a free agent on Twitter. That was like five days ago, I guess. And and then we brought him back and then this this episode happened because we were just we were losing and a change was needed. And one of the main reasons the change was needed, in my eyes, because I had the same issue going into UMG Chicago ten K in December. You know, I went with a team that had a lot of potential. We looked good, we played well in Frag Cup, but we just we didn't get along towards the event and i wasted you know almost six hundred dollars you know for a terrible place and we only won two series and we just got upset a bunch of times in the in the tournament so it wasn't worth that mistake again i knew we had a better shot if me and zager you know made the move to look for two 
and the opportunity came. Doma was a team of two with Trojan, and Zager said, all right, you know, he specifically texted Nifty in the group chat. I know this story is kind of hard to follow. I'm just going off the top of my head here. So try and uh, follow along if you're still watching. Um, so Zager specifically texted Nifty before he was getting on one night because he was getting on late. And we didn't hear from him. He said, Bruce, he said, Bruce, don't book your flight. You know, I don't feel comfortable with this team going to Anaheim. It's either we drop Nihil and look for one or I leave the team pretty much, he said. And and the thing about Nifty was he didn't really want to run with Damo and, and leave Nihil and try and drop Nihil's because he didn't really trust Domo and if he was going to screw us over or not. So, me and Zager jumped on the opportunity because it was going to be hit or miss and we knew we had a shot because Trojan uh, actually was a, his team was the one that knocked us out in Dallas. So, they placed top 24 and we knew he was good on land and he's great online as well. And Domo only placed a couple spots behind us, I believe at Dallas so and we're all we're all seasoned you know veterans on the pro circuit I guess you can say you know Dome was a Black Ops 1 pro I was a Black Ops 1 pro zager has been around for a while and Trojan was a Black Ops 1 pro so if this team works out it's not set in stone yet which this is a gameplay against RNX the new RNX um, this is a CTF gameplay with the, the new potential squad we're still waiting on Domo we're gonna scrim tonight I believe and hopefully we can make a decision after that um, but I know me, Zager, and Trojan want to want to get ready to go because we got to start, you know, thinking about buying the team pass and all that. But but yeah, so this might be the potential squad. But the thing about it, you know, to wrap up the story behind our decision, it was a hit or miss opportunity. I, it's just you know, think about Nifty. We never wanted to get you know part ways with Nifty. We always wanted to stay a team of three, like I said. But it was just the way that things fell, and it was. You know, just the sit the situation, the whole situation with Nye Hill and the timing of the team of two opportunity that Trojan and Domo uh, offered, that we had to take it. You know, it was either we drop Nye Hill or we leave the team, and that was it. So I respect Bruce. You know, if you're watching this, Bruce, like I said before, you know, I thank you for everything. You know, I I enjoy teaming with you. You're a great leader. You're a great guy to hang out with, and uh, Hopefully we can uh, catch up. You know, if, if anything didn't work out with this team, I would have brought him back in a heartbeat. But I want to give a huge shout-out to Ready Up Gaming as well. They did a lot for us as a sponsor, and they were looking to do big things with us. I apologize for what happened, but, you know, they're a great sponsor, a great company, and I hope they do big things in the near future. But that's a wrap, guys. I know it was a little congested, but hope you understand the gist. And follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. I'm out. Peace.